Hey friends, today we have a game jam horror game called The Prototype. Apparently, you and I will be testing out some sort of brand new companion of sorts. And I guess it's up to us to work out some of the potential defects with this thing before it goes on the market. Surely, nothing could go wrong. Right? In all seriousness, this game actually caught my eye because it kind of reminds me of those one-on-one -on -one segments with the animatronics from, I think it was Five Nights at Freddy's Pizza Simulator? Not sure if I have the game right, but I think that's the one it was. Back when I first played the game, those segments really resonated with me, and I got the same vibe from this project. So, let's check it out together. I'm sure it's gonna be creepy, at least. Now, before we get started, I wanted to talk to you guys for a bit. This week, for me personally, has been a challenging week in terms of mental health. I've just had some days that were not my best days. And that's okay. I've been in therapy for close to a decade now, and I still have days where things don't go the way I planned. The reason I'm bringing this up is because I wanted to talk to you guys about a story I've brought up a couple times on this channel. Do you guys have any games, movies, songs, basically pieces of media in general that you consider your comfort forms of entertainment. Like maybe it's a season of a show you go back to every time you're just not feeling like yourself or you're sad. Back in 2017, one of those pieces of media for me became Cuphead. Near the end of 2017, I was going through one of the darkest periods of my life ever. My mental health was honestly terrible and I basically shut down. However, I was still actively fighting to get that joy back in life. And through the anxiety and the dark times, I found Cuphead. And Cuphead was the one thing at that time that I could really look forward to. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that the game alone pulled me out of it. I used techniques from therapy, meditation, grounding, all sorts of stuff. But the joy that that game brought me absolutely helped. And it's a game that I still hold near and dear to my heart to this day. I would love to hear some examples from you guys of like some of those pieces of media that may have helped you through a dark time or media that you consider your comfort entertainment. Let me know. I'm really curious and I always love to hear what you guys have to say. With that being said, here is the prototype. Property of Pandemonium Technologies Incorporated. This videotape is intended for use by personnel of Pandemonium Technologies Incorporated only. Preliminary Model Assessment. Okay. You will conduct a series of standard prompts to assess the latest prototype developed by Pandemonium Technologies. Choose Normal if prototype has responded correctly. Choose Not Normal if otherwise. Before you is the plaything prototype. He is a state-of-the-art talking companion intended God. for all ages. All ages? His features include lifelike movement, a lovely singing voice. Oh, no. And human-like response. The plaything is capable of functioning as your family, your friend, your entertainment. This is so he creepy. Is unlike any other companion. I know y'all saw that. It said, I'm not we ready. We take pride in the quality of our electronic puppets ensuring that customer experience is nothing short of positive. Wow, I can't believe this is a robot designed for all ages. It looks just unnerving. Playing stimuli in 3, 2, 1. If the prototype has responded correctly, his arm to your right should remain raised. Okay, yeah, it looks fine to me. I would say normal. Did his face change? Or am I losing it? This is just such a creepy concept. So basically, they're testing and out this prototype and we have to make sure that it's operating as planned. So, I think that was a normal response. Playing stimuli in 3, 2, 1. Here we go. Hacking into the mainframe here. Are they testing the left arm? Possibly? If the prototype has responded correctly, his arm to your left should remain raised. Okay. Yeah, everything looks fine. I'm a little unnerved by his uh, his appearance in terms of like the way his arms are outstretched, almost like 
some sort of ethereal being beckoning to whoever is in front of him. It's just so... I really hope there's some sort of skin we can put over this thing when it goes to market to make sure that it's not, you know, this terrifying. Playing stimuli. So now we got to look at the head and see if anything's changed. The stimuli song is kind of a banger. All right, let's see. If the prototype has responded correctly, his head should be tilting to your right. Yeah. So everything looks fine so far. And I don't think his face changed before. His hands haven't changed. His torso hasn't changed. So it is. It's tilting to my right. So good. So far, so good. Although I'm getting a little nervous. I wonder what kind of company creates something like this and I for sure feel as though it has alternative motives so same thing but we, it needs to be tilting to the left yeah okay business as usual normal the eyes oh god this is this is where something funky's going down I, I feel stimuli song is a banger Top 100 charts. Okay, let's see. He should be looking to your right. Oh my god. I, I... I dislike everything about that. So, same thing, but this time he should be looking to our left. So how does this thing work then if each bit of stimuli takes this long to perform? How does he move and interact with the customer? Okay, we should be looking to our left now. Good. No problems. We're going to say normal. Wait. So left, right, are they going to do like up or down or cross-eyed? What is this one for? He should be looking? At me? Because he, I mean, he's looking at me, but... Okay. Normal. Section 2. Singing voice. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Prototype singing voice will activate through a pre-recorded prompt. If prototype does not respond correctly... Please ensure speakers are placed properly. Okay. Pre-recorded prompt. Please sing Daisy Bell. Daisy Bell. Well, hey there. Sure. <clears throat> Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to... I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. Actually, it's not bad. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage. Mm. Little choppy. You'll look sweet upon the seat. I'm going to go ahead and say not normal for that one. I mean, it was good. The ending, you're going to give kids some serious nightmares, but okay. Please sing. Oh, birthday. this is going to be. Well, hey there. Well, sure. hey there. <clears throat> And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for... What's that? <sighs> Introduce... Introducing... Well, hey there, kids! It's me, Gozo, your favorite Gozo. Clown. 
Who wants to see a magic trick? I see some hands. One, two, three, four. Why, so many friends came to celebrate today. Is that what this is supposed to be a prototype for? I have a little present like for a you, clown birthday toy? girl. But before that, everybody please sing happy birthday. What do you mean, normal or not normal? There was no stimuli. Or, I guess we're still judging the happy birthday? Okay, so wait a minute. I'm a little suspicious. Um, I don't think that this object here, this prototype, was designed to be a clown. I think Gozo... Might have been a clown before. He's got the same voice as this thing does. And I don't know if we're running into a kind of like a Five Nights at Freddy's thing where somehow he's been put inside of this prototype in a way. Because nowhere on the page and nowhere at the start of the game was it implied that this thing was a clown toy for kids. It was meant for entertainment, help, companionship, a, a general companion device, not a clown. And I think that voice recording is telling us that the voice we're hearing from this thing was from a real person who was who worked as a you know a birthday clown and i have a feeling he's been against his will placed inside of this that's my theory response to conversation the prototype will respond to a series of standard questions using pre-recorded responses okay it's like an ai gamer here Oh. Hello. Well, hey there. Hey there. Uh, I... I mean, it's a correct response, but... It repeated. Wow. How are you? I'm doing just well. Thank you. God, this is so creepy. And, and why do we have to test this guy in a dark room? Can we get some lights on? What are you? I'm an electronic puppet, but I'm a smart one. Why does he keep looking? What are you looking at? He said he's an electronic puppet. This is goes of the clown's voice. I, I I'm really feeling like my theory is correct. <laughs> I was created to sing, make jokes, and so much more. I am a talking companion intended for all ages. I can be your family, your friend, your... Your what? Your what? Not normal. Oh, God. Why did the cupcake go to the doctor's office? I don't know. Because it was feeling crummy. Okay. <laughs> I'll say normal. I mean, he told a joke and then laughed. Tell me another joke. I have a good one. What type of tape do, do kidnappers use? Did he just blink? What type of tape do kidnappers use? No, that's not normal. You don't ask. Why didn't you come home, Dad? What? We asked that? Where is he? Dude. Is that a birthday party across the street? That is the saddest party I've ever seen. Chris, look. They got a clown and everything. You think that guy is a family? Hmm. Maybe he's got a dying clown wife or something? 
They're just going back and forth. He's really going extra with the balloon animals, huh? Yeah, I feel like he... It's all balloon dogs, dude. Yeah, the clown was put inside of this prototype. When they're saying, Dad, why did you not come home? It's... He did have a family. He had kids. <sighs> hey, so uh, earlier I picked up Cole from his school like you asked. The kid was getting hungry, so we went to Hardy's for dinner. Okay. You don't have to bring home cake from that birthday gig. I got you covered. Just... It's 9 p.m. Okay. What does that mean? Where are you? They're calling Gozo and wondering why they're not home yet from the party, I bet. Cole found your pager at your nightstand. He brings it with him to school. Refuses to give it to the police, saying it's the only oh, thing he's missing, he yeah. left. I've been hearing about missing cases happening recently. Your son is worried. Yeah. I'm worried. He's gone. Whatever the organization that created this prototype is... Where the fuck are you? Might have been kidnapping other people. I sincerely hope you only fucked off to elope with that birthday kid's mom. Jesus, Nick. Gozo's name is Nick. Call me back ASAP. At this point, they're hoping Nick. that at least they're still alive. Nick. Nick Miller. That's... that's me. Oh. Welcome, Nick. Go ahead and tell me about yourself. <clears throat> I grew up in a small town all my life until I moved to a different state two years ago with my son. Okay. We're hearing a recording it's from Nick. been a challenge trying to provide for us both. I've been doing... I'm doing odd uh, jobs until you saw your listing looking for my next professional job jobs. He's applying to a position at this unnamed company. Yes. Likely the company that what is time? making this prototype. My current job is entertaining children at birthday parties. Could you demonstrate? Uh They're looking for the perfect well, hey there, kids. It's me, Gozo, your favorite clown. The perfect personality Who for the prototype. A magic trick. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, thanks. That's so You're weird. Hired. What? You're hired. We could use someone with remarkable talent like Pandemonium you. Pandemonium Technologies. That's right. They said that at the beginning. I said uh, unnamed company. But they had named them. That's great. <sighs> when do I start? Right now. Please let me go! I okay. won't tell anyone what to do here! I won't tell! I swear! Please! The head. We don't want to damage it. It hurts! Stop! It hurts! What the fuck are you doing to me? Oh my god. I just got goosebumps. That legitimately is giving me the chills. His transformation is finally complete. Now, to test him out. And that's what we we were here to do. Hello. Well, hey there. How are you? I'm doing just well. Thank you. What are you? I'm an entertainment companion. 
Excellent. Do you remember who you are? I wonder. Happy birthday. Okay, so wow, what did we think of that game? I I'm honestly kind of blown away. I knew it was going to be a creepy game. I didn't necessarily expect it to go in that dark of a direction. Uh especially with the screaming and, you know, what it's implied that this Pandemonium Incorporated was doing. I like how there was a bit of a story instead of it's just you interacting with some creepy prototype robot. I really enjoyed this game. I thought it was pretty captivating from start to finish, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. As always, guys, I love you very much. Please be safe, and I will see you in the next one.